Hi, I'm Rahul. Uh, this is my solar installation at my place. Uh, this is actually designed uh, considering the entire house load, including a centralized air conditioning. Okay. And uh, I use this basically to power my car as well. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's nice. Um, this is a 10 kilowatt system, and we have a smart inverter right there. It's um, and it it does everything without yeah. you even having to worry about it. Okay. So you have um, a system that runs at the background, and you, once you keep it in, the only thing you got to do is just clean the panels. <laughs> yeah, great. Yep. So, okay. Yeah. So um, my nine kilowatt uh, inverter basically um, that's at the peak. And whenever we have excess power, it goes to um, the MSCB because we have net metering, and net metering basically um, nets your bill towards the end of the month. So when you have extra um, electricity that you're producing, you sell it to MS, you sell it to the grid, and it counts in the meter. And um, there's a specialized meter which now is available in India, right. and it's, it's required for solar energy. Yeah, and um, So when you have excess electricity during the day, you buy it back in the night because there's no solar, there's no sun in the night, and um, so MSCB basically acts as a virtual battery. So you don't have to worry about um, getting actual batteries on site to store your electricity. So that saves you a lot of cost. So because of net metering, uh, your solution for an entire to run for to run your home in solar is now yeah. much much more affordable. Much more affordable. Okay. okay. Uh, so the grid's gone down right now. Okay. So it's going to restart. It's, so it keeps the insulation failure grid. Okay. Insulation failure grid. Okay. Actually, yeah. So basically, the grid's gone down now. So, um, so the thing about solar is, it's a safety feature which is worldwide. It's a, it's a it's a normal thing, where if your um, power goes down, yeah. the solar just completely shuts off because it's not an off grid. This is an on grid. So the power generator is today. Today so far we have done twenty five. 25 units. 25 okay. units, yeah. Wow. And um, the total so far since the installation is 3.1 mega megawatt hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that's a lot of power. That's a lot yeah. of power. That's a lot of green, green yeah. energy. I think from October to um, May, yep. you will generate at least 30 units minimum per day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll use usage is around, uh, have you, you know your daily usage? Yeah, so my daily usage now is not that much. It's maximum um, 15 to 20. 20? Uh, uh, no, yeah. It's in the winters? Yeah. yeah, in the winters because okay. we, we don't need um, air conditioning that way. We, well, we could use it to heat heat up a room. Right, we right. could definitely do that. Right. But um, you can just, uh, yeah. we, we don't need, I mean, you can just cover ourselves with a blanket. But right. during, during summers, it's pretty hard. So it goes, your usage goes up to 25, 30 units? Yeah, so uh, we, is, I've technically I've never actually used this in summer yet. Oh, okay, okay. So it's going to be a very interesting. Maybe you can yeah. come over that time yeah, 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 and have a look. Yeah. Because till now we have not actually used it in summer. Yeah. So when when the air conditioning comes on, centralized air conditioning comes on, we can check what what's our readings, okay. whether whether this is able to support the entire road or do we have to take some from MSCB. So there's a safety feature called islanding, where you um, when the system is generating electricity and it's exporting it. Um, it shouldn't affect anyone who's working on the lines. So when there's, when there's a power failure, it's usually because there is some maintenance work going on and it shouldn't be something like where the power is being generated and the guy who's working on it is going to get electrocuted. So it's a, it's a worldwide, it's an international safety feature for irony. And, um, and in solar, the, the panels are usually called the heart of the system, whereas the inverter is called the brain of the system. So when the, the brain cells shut down, it completely shuts it down. Great. Okay. A company which uh, gives solar solutions to all residential, commercial, and industrial applications. And um, uh, if you have any requirement for any solar requirement, we have uh, panels that are coming from Germany, which uh, we are tying up with a company called Solar World, and they make one of the most premium panels in the world, and their quality is unmatched. Importing panels from Germany is uh, recommended because these guys have been in the industry for many years and they produce their own panels. Whereas in India, we don't make our own um, silicon wafers. They are, they are being imported from China. And uh, there, there are talks about 
uh, manufacturing uh, silicon wafers here in India, but that's going to take a, some time. Yeah. So if we are going to be uh, importing silicon wafers from another country, we are not sure about what the quality is as a consumer. So it's, it's better to just directly buy panels from 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 uh, Germany. Just to be safe, I'm not saying Indian companies don't have that quality, but it's it's a matter of safety. Because you're going to be you're going into a contract for 25 years. So, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so this is my E2O. Okay. And uh, I charge the car with solar, so I literally drive with the power of the sun. 